The true purpose of silverware is to give your head something to do while elegantly avoiding your food. And nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle late lament. Lament? Lament. A harp. Lament. Well, sir, 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 to eat your salad for you. My sirs will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to a harp commission. Or have one commission. Bye. <clears throat> Miranda takes you, you harp shopping with her. Oh, fuck. Miranda takes you harp shopping with her. It's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant. Oh, bike man's in chat. Hey, bike man, do you want a code for this game? They gave me a bunch of codes to give out, and I gotta give them out still. Oh, we gotta trade places. <gasps> Everybody choose a celebrity. Bike man. Cryotic. <laughs> More far HD. Oh man. Morgan Freeman. <sighs> okay. Player order is set and how likely it is this look celebrity is secretly related to Pussy Patrol. God. She's related to Morgan Freeman. I believe that. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Alright. Random! Random. I was about to get first, man. Score! Tell me about All right. Uh, last one before the prom, ladies and germs. <gasps> the prom. Last oh, one go. before the prom. Oh, There's boy. no shop. Wow. Yeah, no shop this time. Take my money. All right, so it's not showing the little icons either. Is that normal? Something. Oh, there. You gotta hold it over here, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just immersion. Football. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a football. John Madden. John Madden. I saw a video, and it was like, how to say all the vowels together, and it wasn't an AU joke, and I was sad. Yeah. I'm fucking fucked. <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine until Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, asks you what you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. Why does everyone got poop? Everyone's know, pooting. That one actually is pooting. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Moussaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Moussaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Moussaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Afterwards, Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. After considerable thought, I've come to the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. And seeing as I could use a partner for my tragically hip late night excursions, consider yourself invited. Tonight, 3 a.m., I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming up with an appropriately underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go to or anything. I just want to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. Liam vanishes in a cloud of mist and angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. Monster Polis's most exclusive new nightclub. Or the hottest, most underground nightclub of all, the Earth's core. Ooh. Shit. This is intense. Ah... Trying to think of what the fuck each would be is a pain. Um, probably a bold on the second one. That's what I was thinking too. That sounds pretty intense. Let's yeah, let's go for the first. Go with, yeah. Monster Polis's most exclusive new nightclub. Asterix. Although that might be money. Fuck. Was it was creative. creative anyway. I think I was bones. There was no chance. <laughs> I don't think either of those were charms or smart. But... Yeah, we're. Oh well. You keep getting screwed. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. I'm used to the 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 not. It's fine. You call Liam to tell him to meet you at Asterix. You want me to meet you where? Asterisk? You patiently explain to him that it's not pronounced Asterisk. It's pronounced Asterisk. Star? Are you saying star? You gently correct his pronunciation once again. Sphincter? Is that how you pronounce it? You tell him there's no reason to be so crude about it. You know what? Whatever. 
I don't want to go to your stupid club anyway, asshole. Liam hangs up. It's a shame. Asshole was pretty close to the correct pronunciation. He oh. lose minus two charm and minus one smarts. Let's do this! I am not going to the prom with anybody. Uh, please. Go with your mom. <laughs> I should. Please take me to the bathroom. You gotta go poop. Gotta go poop. Oh my goodness. Go with the dogs. So, dogs gotta poop? Bark. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. On the way there, you run into Mamini, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese shit. <clears throat> you take a sip. It tastes it's called crazy Miho. as hell. Miho. You need to check the contents of this shit. Horana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, it wasn't bad at all. Game plus two boldness. Thank my Mimi. Yes. And proceed to the bathrooms. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus. But your mind is constantly going back to Damien. Stupid, sexy Damien, also known as Ivan and his idiotic short temper. You think he could even be your sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. For God's sakes, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. Ugh. You stupid yellow fruit. What's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? No one is richer in potassium than Damien fucking LaVey! Gah! Is he even for real? Stupid sexy Ivan. No, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates somehow into arson. Oh shit. Um. Oh shit. Eat the banana. You get closer to Damien in a very cool and quiet way. Huh? Why don't you mind your business, noob? But you don't mind your business. You eat the banana instead. <sighs> what? Gah! Oh, look. A dame. Oh, sorry. I fucked it all up. <laughs> oh, look at Damien. He's totally losing his shit again. Yeah, he was bullying that banana. But it seems he's all bark and no bite. Not like Pussy Patrol, huh? Indeed, Pussy Patrol seems to be all bite for sure. Kinda sexy. It is alluring, being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never alluring, nor sexy. True that, unless you're bullying a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They just eat them. Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. Ugh, not again! This is it. This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard. On prom night, we're gonna share a very special dance. Spoiler alert, it will hurt. Oh, uh, that's a prom fight on prom night. Damien versus Pussy Patrol instant classic. Interesting, I might attend. Damn right. You all have tickets to watch how he reduced Pussy Patrol's bones to a sad, shapeless pulp. Yes, free tickets! Hashtag prom fight on prom night. Um... And so you've led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. At least you gained plus three boldness for doing so of your own volition. Alright! Alright. And your sides are not bad. Ooh. Um... I want to go to class. On the night before prom, you dork. Yeah. The day you learn a ton of spells that are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew stickers? Stickiness! A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream? A spell to gain plus two smarts? actually use that spell and you gain plus two smarts wow today in monster math it's scott's turn to stand at the board and solve the equations you think he would have prepared for this but as he passes your seat he whispers bro not 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 like that but bro help me up bro 
spent all week doing sit-ups and I didn't study at all. Just signal me the right answer somehow. Please, I'll get your homework for you next time you need an excuse. Before you can answer, Scott's up at the board looking awkward as hell with the chalk in his hand. What's your plan? What you gonna do? Mm. What's a semaphore? Mm. Oh. Uh, I think... Come on, you know the answer. You know the fucking answer. Write the correct answer somewhere no one else would would suspect. Your butt! So booth. Whoa. You've been waiting all day for an opportunity to show your ass to the world. You hastily scribble some equations on your butt, climb up on your desk, and trow. <laughs> and trow? Bro. Tro. Drop trout. Drop trout, dude. Oh, drop trout. Oh, I... <laughs> Mistakes were made, you know? Dude. Everyone is so fascinated by your bodacious, glistening ass that they totally missed the equation written on it. Scott takes a while to copy down all the answers, but that's fine. Everyone is too fascinated by your ass to look away. It's hypnotic, like a cobra. Wow. When she finally... T tears her eyes away from your stunning ass, the teacher congratulates Scott on a job well done. Thanks. You could say it was real. Come from behind victory. <laughs> Wink. You didn't know Scott could make puns? You learn something new every day? You also gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. Damn, you're um, fun, dude. Sure. Uh, to the library. You want to make money? All right. You also get stats, too. Yeah, that day I spent some time with the library's PC sending malicious spams. Mmm, spam. Mm. Steam spam. Oh. It doesn't sound nice, but they're dumb and they, they fell for it again. My karma, but money. Start doing something productive. Or I could put on my blanket and set up some good old ghost shenanigans. Looking for someone, but you can't run to the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception. Apart from boring Leo. Hiya! 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 <laughs> Hiya! Wait. What's this? An another ghost? No, I can't believe this. Finally, somebody else notices. This is clearly just baby cakes wearing a... I can't believe it because it's just too cool to be true! Come on, it's not cool nor true. Shh, Liam, I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over your jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? We have to share so much ghost gossip, or gossip, as I like to call it. Hmm, question. Time to improve a lie with another bigger lie. Huh. Hmm. 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 I was offered as a sacrifice to the god of party! So Woo! fun! What? That's just stupid. You mean stupidly awesome! No, just plain stupid. Also, which god of party? Dionysus? Ninkazi? The deer person? Who cares, you party pooper? I'm just saying, their story has more holes than the actual holes cutting, cut out of the blanket they are clearly wearing. Shut up, Liam. Maybe we should sacrifice you to the god of party. You don't, uh, you don't like such bad vibes, and because of that, you start dancing. Polly joins. Ghost dance! I swear, I'm gonna follow you around until you take off that sheet. Not a chance. But for now, ghost dance. Also, you gain too creative being a funsy. Prom night. Okay. Ugh. I don't think I have a chance with fucking anybody. But, uh... Good luck. I mean, I could just not... Go with anybody. Just go stag. Fuck that. Oh, yeah. Stag. All right. Red boy. Get. Hey noob. 
All right, skinny PP. Hey. All righty. Howdy. Good luck. And Mr. Munns. Holly. Holly. Hi. Druggy ghost lady. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. I'm so scared. You asked no one to prom. You told yourself you didn't need anyone. And you know, on a theoretical level, that's completely true. But this just seems like a way of avoiding potential rejection. We all fear rejection, sweetheart, but it's part of life. Victory is for those who try. And you haven't. Prom night is here and you can't help but wonder if you had a chance with any of your classmates. Those who fail have at least tried and you... Well, tonight you failed in your own way without even trying. Which has some kind of twisted merit in its own right. Doubts will haunt you till the day you die. Prom was a once in a lifetime opportunity and now it's gone. Oh, no, wait, this is a video game. You can try and play again. Lucky bastard. Um, Damn. sure. I didn't go to prom and I literally haven't thought about prom till tonight. <laughs> yeah, same. Hey, boo. Prom? Nah. Ghost on Ghost is like super vanilla. I have enough ghost with myself. Joke's on you, I'm not a goat. <laughs> if you were something else, maybe like a zombie, <gasps> or like a djinn, or a Frankenstein's monster, <laughs> or the very concept of fear? But no, you're clearly a very realistic ghost, just like me. Wait! <laughs> you actually are one of those cities! Polly out. And she's phased out before I take off my stupid blink. God damn it. No way, boo. Okay, apparently we don't have cell phones. Okay. <laughs> Prom night sucks. Why did you say to ask me what else? I'm wearing a blink. Pretend to be a ghost yet. The one, uh, you're the one that haunted the ghosts in the future. Failures. Boo. Let's do this. Oh, boy. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Prom? I guess we can get so wasted that we end up burning stuff down, right? That sounds like a rad date to me. Rad! Let's burn stuff down together till dawn. Let's make this prom our bitch! Hell yeah. <laughs> prom night was crazy intense. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien is always getting into fistfights, for which Damien punched him, starting yet another fistfight. You joined in and fought with him back to back. It was a super sexy choreographed fight, and you even exchanged trusting glances while watching over each other's backs. That wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's rear. Wink. Yeah, All right. Good. All right, skinny PP. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Uh, prom? <laughs> I don't know a lot about math, bro. But you plus me seems to equal a great night. Hmm. I nice. check our math book to be sure. That isn't the isn't a correct formula, but Scott is still thrilled by your upcoming prom date. We wanted love. Aww. Yay. Prom night was rad. You danced all night, and most of Scott's dance moves were basically workouts. So you ended up utterly exhausted. It wasn't your idea of getting all sweaty with Scott, but you're definitely getting closer. Wow. Good job, guys. Nice. Two of the four of us actually got some. Wow. Wow. Of course, it was the, the, the two, like, you know, the hosts of the stream that didn't get any. But that's okay, you know. That's fine. That's it's, 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 it's how it is. Too real. I, I, I feel good, you know. Yeah, you feel good? Yeah. I hope you enjoy that werewolf butt, man. I do. It's so nice and hairy. And warm. Those three weeks may be the most epic and absurd weeks of our absurd weeks of our lives. Who? Oh, that's a secret character that you can just get. There's a lot of RNG involved. You can also get this guy. And you didn't even oh. see like the Slayer Lady. You didn't see the wolf pack, I don't think. There's a lot of characters in this game. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. 
Damien became a renowned drag racer until he died in the most badass way during a race. At the funeral, you spotted him hidden among the crowd. He winked at you. Scott kept on cheerleading Vera with her tampons and all. He proudly proclaimed she's never lost a match yet. <laughs> that is not a penis! <laughs> After some years, the prince's dimension became a democracy, mostly due to the public's discontent with the royalty that spends most of its time in other dimensions. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high schoolers. Still wrong on so many levels. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And then this is this is the last credit scene. And there it is, this, this monster prom. We did great, Angel. Yeah. Oh shit, we're getting raided by a bunny apparently. What does that even mean? Ribbit. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Thanks for your bunnies, though. We just we just be Monster Prom. Y'all missed it. Did you guys like Monster Prom? I liked it. It was actually yeah. really enjoyable. I'm glad. How about you, Russ? It's okay. Do you think that it would have been better if we won in the end? No. Oh, shit. Fair enough. No. That's fair. Shit. Okay, what is this? Hold on a second, I'm very confused about this bunny situation. Rip it. Why didn't I knock any pop-ups for it? I don't know. It was like problem with monsters? Yeah, pretty much, Bike Man. Gorge. I voiced some of this game? Yeah, I voiced uh, Oz and um, Liam. Liam. You did great. Lion Court. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Maybe I unlocked an item, because you unlock stuff as you go on with the video game. Oh, it was Mikhail Laws. Oh, shit. Well, thanks to the raid. All right, hang on. Let's see. Did we unlock anything? No. No unlocks. Damn. Aww. One of these days, I'm going to unlock something. I've only unlocked, like, one thing, and that was the Dragon Erotica. That's it. I want more Dragon Eroticas. Fuck. All right, so we technically have another hour left in the stream, but this is not an hour type of game. So, what do we do? What is what is the deal here? Fuck. I guess we could just draw on the screen. Dope. Okay. I don't, round, I don't know if we can do another round, guys. That's that's way too long, I think. I mean, a short round would still be more than an hour. That was pretty. That was a pretty long game. Yeah. Give out some codes. They, they didn't give me codes to give away. They gave me codes to give away to. Uh, we um, wanted them to document who we gave them to. Yeah, like to uh, content creator people, like streamers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't just just give them to chat. You know. Because that's just how they are. Oh, hello, Tolomeo. I don't know, we could play fucking Jackbox. You guys wanna play Jackbox? Because we already got <laughs> freaking Hitbox open. Probably just let you guys do your thing and take off. Okay. Okay, have fun. Thanks for having me. Thanks bye. for having me, bye. Yeah, bye. Oh, yeah. But that was, uh, that was Monster Prom. If that's your thing, check it out, it's on Steam. And other stuff. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh... Yeah, I mean you and Russ could like, you know, do your own thing if you guys want. Play some things we didn't really have any plans normally. before then either. Unless Russ has a new idea now. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> we never really had a plan. This is really planned, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, we don't we just kinda roll with shit. Can you put that background on the workshop? I can't do that. This is already on the workshop. That'd just be stealing over somebody's content. 
It's just two workshop things combined pretty much and edited. That's not nice. CS go with viewers? What? What? I'm down for a few rounds of SCP, I guess. Do you want to do that? Sure. Shit, we can do SCP. And we can easily pop out of there if it gets too, uh, you know, nutty. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Let's do SCP. That game spooks me. That's a spooky game. Also, I gotta restart my stuff. Uh, my, my Chrome. My Chrome is currently broken. Fortnite? I don't think anyone's... Actually, probably Comedy Russell's played Fortnite. I have, actually. I play it a lot. You... Mainstream, so mainstream. I'm a normie, dude. I just like BR games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get introduced to new games by you and Soda Poppin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking normies. All right. Um, Fortnite with Drake. I can't do that. I'll call him up if you want me to. Nah, man. Give me Kanye. That guy's going crazy. Okay, it'll take a few years for them to respond, but... Fuck. Yeah. That ain't worth it, then. Okay. Shit. Um... Okay, what do we gotta do for this? Did you want to play uh, SCP with us or no? Yeah, I'm down. Do you actually know how to play? Yeah, I've, I've played... I have seven hours in the game. Damn. SC, in the, uh, the multiplayer one? SCP Secret Laboratory. Damn, you crazy motherfucker. All right, yeah, yeah, sure, that works. Someone who I know runs the server. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Tolo, do you want to play too? <laughs> if not, it's all good. We're just going to chill for an hour. Uh, when we get in the game, we also mute uh, Discord, by the way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just so you know. It, uh, it would ruin immersion if we didn't. Exactly. we got to be immersed. You're marinating? Dude, nice. Fucking nice. Thank you, uh, Nolly Ecoli, by the way. Appreciate it, dog. Also, now I finally see the alert for Michaela Lost thing. Thank you again. It's raining. Men? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fucking nice, dude. Grats. Okay, let me open up old SCP here. Okay. Is there a way to actually, uh... <sighs> Um, enable the the April Fool's Day thing again. Like I remember people talking about that whenever yeah. we play. Maybe. Not too sure. Is that rain meter? No, that's wallpaper. Oh shit! I got low. This volume is very loud. Now oh, we're good now. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, if you uh, want to play video games, uh, please make sure that you're afraid of monsters. Because whenever yeah. you see a monster, you gotta scream. It's scary. And there's no heroes here. We're only cowards. Freak out. The whole time. Uh, That'll be great. Let me know when we're good to go, my dude. I'm installing something for SCP on my computer. So I don't know. Okay. You know. So do we? What do you guys do? Like, do you guys have your own server? Do you guys yeah. like join a random one? We got our server. Oh, nice. Mhm. Mm Problem is, there's no password for it, so we just kind of have to reset it if someone can't get in and hope that everyone gets in. It's uh, a bit of a, a mess, you know. In the meantime, I'm just gonna scroll through the servers. One of them has, ooh. Yo, this guy's got a Lenny face with a gun. Whoa, look out. That's crazy. Pretty heckin' cool. That's pretty heckin' cool, man. I'm gonna go on this server while I wait. And I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, dude, that's, that's got a gun. Oh, shit. Masterpiece. This one has a French flag on it. This is very colorful. 
Yeah, there's a lot of colors. It reminds me of old Call of Duty shit. Cause mm, they... Like the Call of Duty lobbies and stuff? Yeah, well, like they... Unpacked lobbies? They had, like, a, a color 